Continuing on our way, um, I'm going to get the fonts in there. Heading fonts are chunk five, and there is a, a download link for us, fontsquirrel.com, fonts chunk five. Okay. It's fontsquirrel.com, fonts chunk five. Takes us here. Um, this will give us uh, a download link. And let me put it somewhere appropriate. There is a fonts folder for us, so I'm going to stash it in there and we'll clean that up area up in a moment. I'm just gonna go right there by saying show in finder. And I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> extract it. Uh, here is the open font license, which I'm going to um, say I just read for the sake of this video. And I'm gonna move this out and get rid of the things that I don't need for now. Here's chunk5.otf. That's what I'll use for my font. Um, what are my headings that I'm going to be using this font on? Looks like a heading one probably, and then it looks like I have these categories look like that. It's hard to tell, but I'm going to say yes, that looks like it's uh, going to be the same kind of thing. So this looks like some different levels of headings. Um, that's an H1. That's an H3, and this must be an H2. Yep, okay, so H1s, H2s, and H3s are all gonna be the, that chunk five font. Let's set that up by putting a font face rule up near the top here. At font face, the font family, uh, what we, can we call it, uh, chunk five. Um, SRC is a URL and it's an assets folder in the fonts folder and what is it called again? Chunk5.otf. If I'm worried about Windows and it not liking uh, capital font names, okay, lowercase c, and I'll switch it here as well. I don't have a Windows machine to test on right here. Um, that would be quick, so I'm just going to say just in case. Okay, so now I have a font named Chunk5, and let me make a rule, maybe a sort of overarching global rule here for all H1s, H2s, and H3s in the page to say the font family is Chunk5. It doesn't say what I should um, default to, so I'm just going to say um, what kind of a font is it? It's it's serif, so I'm going to default. So serifs, if we haven't if we haven't said so already, and your instructor has not said so already, and serifs are the little um, ticks at the the feet on the and the uh, on your font. This one has serifs. I can see the little feet on the font. So I'm going to default to a serif font and leave it at that. Uh, okay. Refresh. Oh, let's see. I probably have an error here. Um, yes, what am I doing? I can't find it because... What have I done? I probably uh, misspelled it. Oh, oh, I know. Because I'm already in the assets folder. I need to go out of the... CSS folder and into the assets in order to be able to find it. Back one folder and then into the assets. Let's see that. Still not. Oh my goodness. Now we have a world of hurt here in the assets area. Let's have a quick look here. I love cheese. CSS. There's my styles. Dot dot takes me to assets. Right, dot dot takes me to assets. Durr. Now I'm in the assets folder, then I go into the fonts. Third time's the charm. Yes. Okay. So now I got I got my fonts in place. Um, the other font is a Google font. So and that Google font is luckiest guy from Google Fonts for these links. So let's go find that. Fonts Google. Dot com. Uh, luckiest. There it is. Plus to add. 
Um, here is my link tag, or actually, I'll, maybe I'll use an import statement. We, we could either use a link or an import. It doesn't matter. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll use an I use an import in the um, in the previous video, so I'll use a link here. Copy that, and then it looks like luckiest guy, and the cursive is the fallback. Okay. My next question. Well, let me get that into place first. So um, this is um, this is a link tag I'm going to be I'm using, not a, an at import. So if it were an import, I would put it up here in the style sheet. If it's a link tag, it happens in the HTML file. So um, where is my HTML file? It is right there. Um, therefore, I would link it before my style sheet links. So somewhere up here, paste, and there it goes. Save. Back to my styles. Um, now I can use luckiest guy, and my only question to myself is, on what? On these. No, on these. What is this? This is a, an A tag inside the subnav area. Okay. So that, therefore, we've got um, subnav. Do I have a capital N? Mm, yes. Subnav A font family um, chunk five. No, the luckiest guy. And uh, cursive was the fallback. Save, refresh, and there we are. Okay, um, I'll start doing a little bit more uh, cleanup as we progress in the next video.